In this video, we are going to walk you through solving an equation with a radical, okay? And this is similar to example four in your textbook, but it's just a little bit harder. So we're gonna go through this example, okay? So the first thing we need to do is we want to get rid of the radical, okay? We don't want any radical in our problem. And so how we're going to do that is we are going to square both sides. Okay, remember we have to do the same things to both sides, right? We're doing the inverse operation and the operation we want to undo is taking a square root. Well, the opposite of a square root is to square it. So again, we're just learning how to use these different inverse operations just like you would with a simpler equation. Okay, so what that does, well it, undo, it undoes the square root. So over on the right side of our equation, we end up with 5t minus 1, and over here, well, this, the, uh, to the second power goes to the coefficient, so 2 squared is 4, and t squared, well, it is t squared. From there, we want to get pretty much everything over onto one side. Since this is the only thing on the left side of our equation, I'm going to move it over. So I'm going to use my inverse operations, and I'm going to subtract negative four t to the second power from both sides. Well, if I subtract it from the left side, that's going to get me zero equals, I'm gonna have five t minus one minus four t to the second power. Next, I'm going to use, well, I'm going to, going to put it into the standard form for polynomials, which just means I'm going to write it, uh, this side of the expression, with the polynomial with the highest degree, which will be my negative 4t squared, okay, and then go in descending order. So I'll have my zero equals, and I want this over here, so negative 4t squared plus 5t, okay, Notice how I took the negative sign that was in front of the 4t squared. See where it sticks, okay? 5t, that's positive, so I have positive, and then we'll have negative 1. Okay. From there, you're going to look at that side of the expression, and you're going to use the skills you've learned for factoring, okay? And you need to factor this, okay? So if we factor it, we get 0 equals, open parentheses, negative 4t plus 1, okay, open parentheses, t minus 1. Okay, so we have this solved out, okay, and for a lot of these problems, most of these problems, we should have two solutions, okay? So some of them could be no solutions, but, right, you, you will oftentimes have two solutions, okay? So what we need to do here is figure out, working with the zero property of multiplication, okay, what values for t we need to, we could input in order to make basically either of these expressions zero, because if what's in parentheses here equals zero, is multiplied by any number that's in there, then our overall equation would equal zero, so it would be true, and vice versa, if this, for some reason, if that equaled zero, okay, in here in these parentheses, if that equals zero, anything it multiplied over here, no matter what, would equal zero. So after we've gotten to the factoring stage, we need to make sure that we are finding, all right, what values for t would make this expression inside of the parentheses equal zero, or this one, okay? And how we can do that is we can simply say, okay, well, I'm going to take this expression and I'm gonna create an equation. I'm gonna put a big line to show we're doing kind of something different. That's, that's what, we, what we've got and I've got zero equals negative four t plus one, okay? Or, or we're gonna have it like this. Or it could be when zero is equal to t minus one, okay? So in either of these situations, if this, whatever is there equals zero, or if whatever is in this set of parentheses equals zero, then it will make our equation true, okay? So, let's solve this one. I add one to both sides. Oh, sorry, subtract. I, that right. I said it wrong. Subtract one from both sides. That gets me to negative one equals negative four over t, or sorry, negative four t. Divide both sides by negative four. Okay. 
gets us to t, and hopefully we know by now that a negative over a negative could be simplified to just a positive number, getting us to 1 fourth equals t. Okay, and then over here we can simply add 1, 1, and we get t is equal to 1. Okay, so our answer is 1 fourth or 1. And there you have it. Let me know if you have questions.